Hello everyone and welcome to the 2021 Love at First Sting, taking place on Sunday, February 7th. We are moving over to the Eager Beaver Disc Golf Course, which is also located in the Elon Park, just like we saw at the previous round. Terry Miller, the disc golf guy here. Sometimes I'm one in the same. <laughs> Depends what kind of day or week I'm having. But Michael Joe, a.k.a. MJ, a.k.a. the Dirty Hippie, here leading things off. He shoots a three under over on the Angry Beaver course. This is Alex Zyrus. A forehand right up the middle. And a park job. Tal Wombeck, also a forehand and doesn't get any smoother than that. 233 feet on this opening hole. Yuli's playing a full flex. Okay, so he, he, he doesn't necessarily love it. And he's found the danger deep of the pin. Gives it a really solid bid. Now, this is a hole you absolutely must get to start things off. Again, just 233 feet, but plays as one of the easiest holes in the MPO division today. And our leader, MJ, doesn't connect. In fact, this came in at... 2.32 that's 0.68 under par and the second easiest hole on the course only a handful of people uh, weren't able to get this one unfortunately Yuli and MJ are two of them Tal quickly gets to two under Everyone spoke of the beatdown that would come on Angry Beaver and then the reprieve and the uh, much more pleasurable time that you could find over here on the Eager Beaver. Plenty of birdies to be had, they tell me. I decide to go down to the kind of the swing slash catch position here. It looked like it was going to be blind from the tee. And so you see the backhand there by Alex. Good looking forehand there by Tal that turns over and just fades. This plays slightly downhill. Not quite enough power for MJ. Again, pretty short at just 226. And there's the zone that I mentioned during the previous round. Somebody asked as to why those are so expensive. I don't know. People love them. Um, the the, the non-black ones go usually for triple digits and then the black ones go for two or three times that sometimes depending on where you're searching I don't understand the collector market I just play along with it I, I guess I'm more of a hoarder than anything so Yuli picking up a birdie here to get things going He uttered a lot of random words there. <laughs> this is the fifth easiest hole on the course, averaging 2.53. MJ, a little bit of a slow start. Just knowing there's so many birdies available on this course, first two holes relatively easy. MJ said that he wasn't too concerned about uh, you know, how things were going in general. He says when he's at an event like this, he's usually just kind of working on stuff, you know, working on uh, maybe minor imperfections in his game. Uh, you know, clearly he doesn't take it all too seriously. We always know he's a very fast player, but um, he doesn't get too worked up or too worried. And not that he ever gets worked up about anything, really. Oh, tail's faking me out. So right now we've got a three-way tie for first place after the first two holes. 
Cal would like to break that tie. Great shot. Showing his backhand. Pulled right for Yuli. A little bit of a tight T area. I couldn't quite get in position to see more of that. He'll have a putt from probably about circle's edge. You see Alex a little bit short. Now you see 279 feet. As opposed to the last two that were in the 220s, 230s. Long jumper by Alex. Not much there. MJ really has himself baffled. Uh, He's seen a couple of straddles, and he feels like he's just pulling them to the right. Yuli can't connect. Said that tree was distracting him. And look at that tap in. And the outright lead takes just three holes to do it, and Tal's got himself the outright lead. Tal rated 978 going up against both Yuli and MJ, both with 1026 ratings coming into this event, and Alex, who came into this round in second, sits at 961. Nice looking forehand by Yuli. Goes a little bit, little bit deep. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not sure my camera really does it justice. Just how tight that t uh, that upright is. That can't be more than six or eight feet between those two trees that you're really trying to navigate through. The other thing that you learn when you're out on a course like this, when lots of birdies are available, MJ doesn't even need to look them in. Um, <laughs> when there's a lot of birdies available and things are moving along quickly with short holes, people are up and ready to throw right away. So you really got to kind of, these guys almost faked me out or moved a, a bit quick. Not that they should be waiting for me. I'm not insinuating that at all. But uh, you very quickly learn. You get up and you throw. And you keep things moving usually on a shorter, easier course like this. Here's Yuli. Hands on the hips. Man, if that Yuli stare could bend that basket over, I think it would. Tal's now momentarily tied for the lead. Got it. So impressive here. See these guys uh, getting off to a great start. Tal is four for four to get this round started. Hole four is uh, plays just in the middle of the field in terms of difficulty, averaging 2.63. So uh, it's about ninth most difficult. So right in the middle. Huge shout out to Scorpion Disc Golf hosting our event here today. All right, so I just jinxed him, apparently. Pretty straightforward. Now, this is by far the longest hole that we've seen. Actually, this is one of the longer holes on the course. It's still just 335, but they've been throwing 250, 230, 220. You know, they've been throwing a lot of those distances for the last few holes, and now you're going to put a little bit more on it. Yuli's got a buzz. That stays pretty clean. <laughs> and interestingly enough, this will, uh, this actually, I'll tell you now, plays as the most difficult hole on the course relative to par, averaging 3.05. We'll see what our crew can do, but. Uh oh. 
Yeah, as he t- he turned to me and said, "Tough one," and I, I, I have, I've got nothing for that. That was a uh, very difficult line or two that he had to look at, and at that point, he's just pitching out, hoping to walk away with the the bogey. Yuli, we've seen him at this distance. He hasn't had a he's had a few that haven't quite dropped for him. But that one's right on line. Uh, and as he cleans up, I, I just have to say <laughs> it's like Yuli's here for commentary. I, I I should just be quiet and let him hear all his on on course explanations. Uh, I, I just want to say huge response and thank you guys so much. As Tal's gonna blemish his scorecard here, uh, great response to the first round. Uh, I, I, Scorpion disc golf, along with six sided discs, ma- really making this happen. Along with my Patreon subscribers and supporters, because if it weren't for all of you guys, this bonus coverage of this C tier coming on you on on Super Bowl Sunday wouldn't have happen. So we see a little shake up there as MJ takes the birdie, Tal takes the bogey. The patented no look MJ shot, whether it's a putt or a drive, he knows right where it's going. That's fine. That's fine, Yuli says. That's fine. Anytime you can say that's fine at the Eager Beaver. You got to be happy with it. Let's see how Tal can recover after momentarily giving up the lead. It looks like it's a, a great comeback shot. Yuli again, just at that <laughs> distance, I was uh, short of circle's edge. Here comes the putter toss. No. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Y- Yuli goes to three. Tal goes to back to five. I think I hear a little Nas in the background. I do not have permission to be using that music. Please don't flag me, YouTube. But I do have permission to watch this unfold. Uh oh. I I smell a giveaway coming. Let's listen in. Thank you, Sail on Enterprises. Hole six, six sided disc. It's time for a giveaway. All right. I'll work on those segues. But here we are again, teaming up with sixsideddisc.com to give you a three disc mystery pack for free. Now, normally you have to pay for them. Go out to their site, sixsideddisc.com, and you can choose from which of the four boxes that best suit your desires, your wants, your needs. They've got the crusher, the technician, the luminescent, the creative. Check all of those out. So all I need you to do here is be a Patreon subscriber. I've got some already. I'd love to have a few more, and I want to appreciate the ones that I've got. So if you are a Patreon subscriber of mine, at the seven day mark after this video has been posted, that's when I will pull from all of my Patreon subscribers and I will randomly grab from one of my Patreon subscribers of the Disc Golf Guy. I will pull from that and one of those people I will then reach out to and connect them with six sided discs so that they can get you a three disc mystery pack. That's all you gotta do, just be a Patreon subscriber. You can do it at any level, you can cap it, you can do whatever you wanna do But if you are a Patreon subscriber, seven days after this video has dropped, you will then be eligible for this three-disc giveaway. That's all there is to it, guys. I appreciate it if you like and share and subscribe and all that other stuff. But that's all you got to do to have your chance to win. So thank you to Six Sided Discs. Please check them out at SixSidedDiscs.com. That's a star frame. Let's see if we can get another one. Maybe I've got more giveaways in the back nine. Hint, hint, I do. Six Sided Discs, hooking you up. All right, somebody tell that guy to zoom out already. <laughs> he is trying to give you some free stuff. 
as now we quickly transition over to hole seven, back to 220. Just a little flick of the wrist here for Yuli. Could have used a little more. Alex going to play it low. We'll see what kind of skip he gets. That'll be all right. And Tal, just like Yuli, not quite enough turn on that little forehand flick of theirs. And now he's got some danger because you don't want this to get away from you if you don't connect. Because some of those trees in the background obviously can provide... A blockage to the basket. Yuli, I think he's found an alley where he's at. S solid putt. Maybe that's all he needed, just a little straddle action. No surprise, this comes in as the sixth most easy hole on the course. Averaging 2.53. Tal's disappointed. I hear you, buddy. All right. Right, right, low corner pocket. Name me a more confident putter. Than, uh, <laughs> than MJ. Uh, love it. The, the no look. He'll hear the sounds. He knows where it's going. It's like a little banger action. The banger at the Eager Beaver. I feel like that's a tournament name in itself. And very different approaches. We see MJ go with the high, lazy, fading hyzer. Yuli going with the little... Flick oh, up the man. left side. Lay release program. <laughs> Alex has another idea. And Tal's going to take the MJ approach. Talked to Tal. It was the first time meeting him. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, had a great chat. If I recall, you told me he was a currently a student right now. And uh, <laughs> studying <laughs> finance. <laughs> and Alex is telling me that's great content. Ah, yeah, it is. To be fair, I think we had a whole round of that on the previous round, Alex. <laughs> so he's got some work to do here. <laughs> Easy par. Come on. <laughs> That's the smile you love to see. Big putt. Nice work, Alex. Looks like MJ had gone just a bit deep. Yuli inside of that. Seems like every putt he's had has been... Mildly obstructed. <laughs> and he leaks that one in. And MJ sits with this four strokes over Alex, three over Yuli and Tal at the moment. As uh, he, he just continues to string them together. Big shout out to Scorpion Disc Golf. We're here for the last hole of the front nine. Two hundred and sixty nine feet as he said, manageable. Pretty straightforward here. The wind almost dropped it under it and then it gave it a little <laughs> Nice. All right, seems like that right side fairway is closing in on these guys. Uh what I also want to say. I, I am doing the giveaway, the six-sided disc that's going to go to one of my Patreon supporters. You do have a full week from when this came out to to be a Patreon subscriber. But I, 
As much as I love all of you guys, I have to do an additional giveaway. So in theory, a Patreon subscriber could double up here. And by that, what I want to say is, what's been your favorite hole on the front nine? Put that in the comments as well here. Put that in the comments and I'll do a secondary giveaway as that one just <laughs> trips in. <laughs> nice is right, Tal. Um, <laughs> I'll do a secondary giveaway. So we'll have the three disc giveaway. Thank you to SixSidedDisc.com. That's if you're a Patreon sub. But if you're not, you could still win a single disc from me simply by putting a comment in this video as to uh, what your favorite hole has been here on the front nine. Hal had the birdie, which put him to six, and MJ's going to answer with one of his own. Now, Yuli faced with a little bit of work to do. Maybe his least obstructed putt yet. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as I said, thank you so much. That's the front nine. Leave a comment as to what your favorite hole is. I'll draw from that for a single disc giveaway. And if you're a Patreon subscriber, that will make you eligible for the six-sided disc giveaway. Thanks. We'll see you in the back nine.